I'm Shanna and we will be doing a lower body dumbbell workout for busy moms. This lower body dumbbell workout for busy moms will consist of 15 reps of every exercise for three rounds. At the end of each rep, we will hold the exercise for 30 seconds. To get the most out of the busy active mom workouts, make sure you check out the link in the description below to get the free busy active mom workout plan. So, let's get started. Let's get started with the warm up. We're gonna march in place here. Jog in place. Do some squats. Alright, stretch your quad out. Switch legs. Ankle just above the knee here. We're going to stretch out here. Switch legs. Stretch your leg out like this. Switch sides. Good job. Our first exercise is going to be a squat. So this is what this exercise is going to look like. So you're just going to go down like this, up, down, and up. After 15 reps or up of the exercise, we're going to hold for 30 seconds for a challenge. So modification, you can just not use weight or you can use lighter weights and do less reps. So, here we go. Make sure you have good posture here. Knees pointing out. Two more. We go to 15. We go back down and hold for 30 seconds. All right, 30 seconds are up. Let's take a little break here. It's definitely a burner at the end. So we're gonna go right into round two. Here we go. Rep 14, last one, 15, and then go back down and hold for 30 seconds. All right, good job. One more of that exercise and we'll be done with the squats for today. All right, let's pick up our weights, go on to round three. Let's get right into it, here we go. Think of squatting in a chair, like you're sitting down. A visual sometimes helps us go down a little further. One more, and then we're gonna go down into the hold. Here we go. All right, good job. Done with the squats. Our next exercise is going to be 
the lunges. And we're going to also hold at the end of 15 reps on this too. So this is what this exercise is going to look like. So you're just going to go back, just like this. We're only doing one side at a time. At the end of 15 reps, you're just going to hold down here, just like this. So modification, do less weights, less reps, or don't use any weights at all. So let's get started. Make sure you're keeping that toe, knee out. Standing up straight. We have two more. Last one. Then we're going to go back down and hold. All right, my leg was shaking on that one. All right, take a break for a minute. All right, we're gonna get right back into it in just a second. So, here we go. And that last one, then we're going to go back down and hold. Here we go, 30 seconds. All right, go back up. That's definitely a burner doing that hold for sure. So we're going to get right into our last round of this. So go ahead, pick up your weights. Here we go. And we have 15, then we're gonna go back down and hold. Here we go. All right, back up. We're done on that leg. We're gonna switch sides in the lunge and do three rounds of that for 15 reps. So let's get right into it, pick up our weights. So, here we go. And we have one more, and we're gonna hold on this one. All right, you can go back up. Just two more rounds of it. We'll be done with our lunges. All right, so here we go, round two.
We have two more. And then we're gonna go back down and hold. All right, good job. Only one more of that exercise. And we'll move on to our next exercise. So, pick up your weights again. Let's get right into it. Here we go. One more, then we're gonna go back into it and hold. All right, good job. Done with the lunges. So now we're gonna do some calf raises and we're gonna hold on those also. So get a drink if you need to, shake it out, jog in place. All right, the calf raise is just gonna look like this. You're just gonna go up and down here. On the hold, you're just gonna hold your toes up for 30 seconds. Modification would be just to use no weights, do less reps or less weights. So, here we go. Make sure you're standing up straight. Good posture. All right, now hold. All right, weights down, a little break, shake your legs out, shake your calves out on that. A little bit of a burner on your calves. So, we're gonna get right back into the move. So round two of the calf raises. Here we go. Make sure you're lifting your toes at the same time when you're doing the calf raise. Now hold. All right, good job. Only one round left of the calf raises. We'll get right into them in just a minute. Then we're gonna do some exercises on the floor. So, here we go. Hold your feet up. Okay, now up on your toes. All right, good job, done with the calves. Your next exercise is gonna be the glute bridge. On our 15th rep, we're gonna just hold the move for 30 seconds like we've been doing with the other exercises. So this is what this exercise looks like. You're just gonna go up and down, up and down. When you when we're holding, you're just gonna hold it up in this position for 30 seconds. 
So, modification would be not to use any weights at all, or you can use lighter weights and do less reps. Or you could even take the hold out if you would like. So, here we go. Make sure you're squeezing those glutes together. And 15, hold. All right, you can release. We're gonna go into round two in just a second. Give you just a little bit of a breather here. But we're gonna get right into it. So, let's get started again. Hold it. All right, release. And we just have one more round of that exercise. So get in position again. Let's get started. And 15, and hold. All right, release. Our next exercise, and our last exercise, is going to be the fire hydrant. So we are gonna do the fire hydrant, and then we're gonna hold on the 15th rep, and we're gonna do Work on one leg first, and then we're gonna move on to the other leg. So this is what this exercise looks like. I would recommend a lighter weight. If you want to use a weight, you're probably gonna get a pretty good workout even without using weight on this. And you might even find weight is being a little too much for this exercise. I'm gonna use my 10 pound weight here. And this is what it's gonna look like. You're just gonna go out to the side here, out to the side. And when we hold it, you're just gonna go like this for 30 seconds. So, with modification would be just to do it without a weight. Or even, or you can do a very light weight, lighter than a 10 pound weight, and do less reps, or take out the hold completely. So, let's get started with this exercise. So I'm gonna start right leg first. So, here we go, 15 reps. Hold it. All right, you can release. We're gonna move around two in just a minute. Can you get a drink? Stretch it out. Go ahead and do that. Because we're gonna move right in around two. So, let's get the weight and let's get started.
and then we're gonna bring it up again and hold. All right, release it. Stretch it out, good way to stretch it out and just do a child's pose in between here. It's really gonna stretch the glutes out and your hamstrings back there. So we're gonna get right into the third round of this on the right side, then we'll move on to the other side. So let's get our weight and let's get started. And hold. All right, release. So stretch it out if you need to. You drink if you need to. We're gonna switch sides. Go. I'm going to my left side now. And then. After this round of this exercise, we will be finished. So, get your weight. Let's get started on the other side. Here we go. Let's bring it up and hold. All right. Release it. Just have two more rounds of it. All right. Let's get back into it. Weight or no weight. Here we go. So. Let's get started right into it. The last one, and then we're gonna hold right now. Just one more round of that. We'll be done. So, taking a couple deep breaths. We'll get right back into it. So, last round. Here we go. And bring it up again and hold. We can do it. We have 30 seconds. All right, release it. Very good. We are finished. So go back into the child's pose. This is a much needed stretch after that fire hydrant. Bring your foot up. We'll do a pigeon stretch here. Switch sides. All right. 
Thank you for doing the lower body dumbbell workout for busy moms with me. And please subscribe to my channel for the latest workout.